Learn and Improve Master by Nick Velasquez is a wonderfully crafted book to help guide you on learning and mastering your craft. He starts off by breaking down any sort of misconceptions and debunking any myths that you may have heard about learning and education, such as the 10,000 hour rule and left brain versus right brain, all those different myths. He goes ahead and debunks them. Then he goes ahead and splits the book up into three different parts. So first off, he takes a look at learn, and it's all about uh, the importance of exploring a craft before you really decide to commit to it and really dive into it. It's sort of when we pick up a book, we go ahead and flip through the pages and see if it's a book we really want to commit to before we decide, you know what, we really actually want to read it. That's the same exact thing, but with your craft. It's important to spend time, weeks, you know, a couple of months even uh, exploring, let's say, music and seeing if you like it. And if you don't, moving on to another craft that you actually want to explore. He also takes a look at understanding memorization, getting more specific with the two, uh, sharing with us more terms and ideas, as well as the importance of the practice, then bridging that practice with the actual performance. So he takes a look at practice and different techniques that we can use to become more effective when we do have you know, our time to practice or consistently every day and then bridging that practice with the actual performance. Because ideally, when you're practicing, eventually, you want to change your routines a little bit when you have a gig or performance coming up in a couple of weeks, you know? Then from there, uh, taking a look at the performance, he takes a look at, you know, the, the EQ that you really want to have, and then sort of, again, bridging the two from practice to performance. And he literally has a whole chapter on that bridge part to sort of translate what we've practiced into the actual performance so it shows up. And so that's just the first part. The second part is all about improving or improve. He takes a look at once you've done the actual performance and you've executed on it, uh, really the importance of taking a look at any sort of feedback and gathering information and not taking it personally. To be honest, it's all about just taking a look at the feedback, the serious feedback that you have and just analyzing it to improve your craft and to get better. Not taking it personally, though, it's really important. Then the third idea is to go ahead and take a look at master which is he doesn't really define master or mastery specifically. It's all about taking a look at elements that a master would have once they've gained mastery in their actual craft. So it's all about, you know, consistency, the importance of uh, experience, because when, when you're a master, you've really committed a lot of time and a lot of made a lot of sacrifices in order to become, you know, a master. And so you spent a lot of experience and time with it. Uh, also all about efficiency, fluency, and flexibility. Once you're a master, you know you're a master because you're able to be flexible and make changes on the fly or fairly quickly, you know, and those sort of elements when it, become, when it comes to being a master. So this book is great, I think, for anyone that's looking to really learn how to master their craft, uh, as well as for teachers who want to learn how to sort of get a different perspective from the student as well as to teach others. And then lastly, I think it's also great for students who want to simply improve their learning, sort of learn how to learn. And as well as I think it's great for students because I think you get a great perspective of when you're starting off as a student, it's sort of more the learn part and then the master, you get a great perspective on what it really means to become a master. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and thanks for watching.